The Silicon Valley electric car maker Tesla Motors seems to be in the news almost every day. Over the last two weeks, the company faced fallout over glitches in its early Model S electric cars, and it upgraded its powertrain warranty. It also turned the screws on states competing to get its multi-billion dollar battery gigafactory. The company even worked on hiring hackers to keep future cars secure. This is Green Car Report's video news for the weeks of August 11th and 18th, 2014. And this time, we're all about Tesla. The quality and reliability of the Tesla Model S were front and center, with consumer reports listing numerous glitches that it had experienced in its early 2012 Model S test car. The consumer publication still likes the car, and its final quality rating will be determined by owner reports, not their own test car experience. Moreover, the report noted that every one of the glitches was promptly fixed by attentive Tesla service technicians. The company says that two years and 50,000 or so cars later, it has resolved the issues found in early cars, and recent models shouldn't experience these problems. Meanwhile, our Tesla-owning author, David Noland, asked how serious the Model S drivetrain replacement problem is for the company. A Model S on long-term test with Edmunds is now on its fourth electric motor. The magazine Motor Trend had to have one replaced in its test car as well. In some cases, the problem was as simple as a small shim being required. Still, last Friday, Tesla announced that it would extend the warranty on its powertrains to match the warranty on the battery pack. Eight years and, for 85 kilowatt hour cars, unlimited miles. Separately, Tesla attended the DEF CON Computer Security Conference in Las Vegas. The company hopes to hire professional hackers to ensure security in its future cars, and it offered as many as a few dozen jobs, according to reports. CEO Elon Musk also suggested that the company might offer replacement battery packs for its Roadster model, potentially giving the two-seat cars a new range of up to 400 miles. We already know that a site outside Reno, Nevada is one of the ones being prepared for possible gigafactory construction, but other states are far from giving up. Last week, it was suggested that California might suspend or delay parts of its environmental review process to let Tesla keep to a very aggressive schedule for getting the battery factory into production by the end of 2017. Suspending the environmental protections would let Tesla launch its mass market zero emissions vehicle on schedule. Ironic, no? A design house in Los Angeles called Icon unveiled its concept for a gorgeous, 30s-inspired retro-streamlined coupe to be built on the all-wheel drive platform of the upcoming Tesla Model X. The Icon Helios is only a sketch right now, but we think it's beautiful, and we hope designer Jonathan Ward is able to build one for real. Finally, at last weekend's prestigious Pebble Beach Concours d'Elegance, well-known tuning house Celine unveiled its hot rod version of the Model S electric car called the Celine 416. It seems to be mostly body suspension and wheel modifications, but we'll be curious to find out whether Celine can improve much on the P85 Performance Edition of the Model S. And that's our Tesla news for the last 10 days or so. Don't worry, there's likely to be more soon enough.